Keith Vassell, MVP, you've done so much in basketball. This was the one thing that you missed, and I can see the emotion now so much in them. Just tell me how you feel right now. We won. That's all I care. That's all I wanted to do. That's all. I, oh, God, we won. Keith Vassell holds that moment in the highest regard, capturing the 1996 national title in the final game of his five-year Bobcat career. I would have felt severely incomplete. That would have really been something to wrestle with for the rest of my days, without a doubt. Growing up in Ontario, he had four pillars to lean on. We were a very close-knit family. Like, I basically had three mothers, four if you include my grandmother. Very, very strong women that uh, you put them in the middle of a forest fire, they're gonna find their way out of there. Role models have always been valuable to Vassal. As he began his time as a Bobcat in 1991, John Carson gave him all the words of wisdom he would need. Johnny made me aware of the history of Grand, right? And he made me aware of the fact that there's a lot of great players that have come here. And really, the only thing that matters is winning a championship. National Rookie of the Year, National Player of the Year, three-time All-Canadian, and BU's Male Athlete of the Year three straight seasons. Vassal virtually achieved it all. His induction into the BU Sports Wall of Fame in 2016 still tugs at his heartstrings. As a player, it meant a lot. <laughs> wow, it meant a lot. And the reason why you go through a journey and you, you want to be something, you want to be someone. And I think Brandon helped me to establish that. Vassal spent 11 seasons with the Canadian national team while donning the maple leaf, blue and gold, continued to shine through. Carrying the flag for the country I, uh, in the World University Games. Like, Brandon University was also one of the places that I was like, I'm an ambassador for Brandon University. So this flag is being carried by a person who is from Brandon University. After playing professionally for over a decade overseas, Vassal returned to his alma mater to lead BU as coach for two seasons. In 2009, the Bobcats made a dramatic comeback. After trailing by 14 points in the third quarter, they prevailed to win the Great Plains Division title. We pressed and we pressed and we pressed and they ran through the wall and they ran through the wall. They made big plays. But that was definitely a landmark moment that I thought shot us up. Vassal was back in familiar territory in 2018, this time as coach of the London Lightning. He guided them to the National Basketball League of Canada Championship in Halifax. 22 years earlier, he was on the same floor hoisting hardware as a bobcat. Yeah, it was an incredible experience. There was, there was no doubt about it. For the place that it was and the memories and, and everything like that, for sure. Vassal's newest venture is one he hopes will carry him the rest of the way. Establishing a sports academy, building something special, and being a bobcat is everlasting. The day I take my last breath, I don't have any regrets. Right, because I give everything that I got and then that's it.